Welcome back to our channel, guys. Uh, it's been a while, but not really, because we have all of a sudden going on uh, every week on Tuesdays. Uh, episodes drop at 8 a.m., but we're here with our review video on Cheetos' new mac and cheese. Uh, they went ag ahead and went with each flavor uh, available in store right now, and it sounds wrong, but, but let's see how it right it is. It also sounds very right. <laughs> I guess they really took that whole Burger King thing to heart and just said, hey, we made a Cheeto stuffed with mac and cheese. Let's make the mac and cheese, too. Yeah, I mean, it's honestly, it, it smells really good. So right now what we have is uh, the first, the regular uh, mac and cheese, you know, crunchy Cheetos. And it smells like a bowl of freaking Cheetos. Like, I don't know. So we'll go down the line and we'll let you guys know if you need it or if they should just get rid of this thing. So uh, we have our first one, the original cheddar mac and cheese Cheeto. Uh, to compare, we kind of need to start off with the actual chip and see if it kind of relates to what we have here in front of us. Ooh, relates, big word. So here we go. All right. Get I might that nice uh, nope. ASMR. People definitely don't want that. This reminds me of childhood. I got to say, uh, it takes me back to the younger days when uh, Julian was in Pressa and still a happy boy. Honestly, can't say I'm a big fan of Cheetos, but uh, I love mac and cheese, so I'm hoping <laughs> that it it's good. I don't know. How can you not like a class of Cheetos? Like, you, you, you buy, like, that family pack, and then you have, like, these, and then you got the Doritos. I mean, granted, Doritos, you know, still my top, but Cheetos is a close, maybe third. All right. So now we got the flavor kind of profile in our mouth. Let's try our mac and cheese. Aw, oh, man. And he's already making a mess. <laughs> I like it. It still has that kind of mac and cheese consistency, but it has literally the flavor of the Cheetos, uh, Cheeto flavor. A little bit. I'm not... It doesn't hit as hard as this cheese does, but because it's not like powdery, it's you know like creamy. That's really good. I really like this one. Okay, I can get behind this. Yep. So I honestly, out of uh, what? Out of ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. This is a solid eight. Ah, uh, for a standard mac and cheese, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll give it. Yeah, I'll give it an eight. Yeah, because it's very cheesy, like, and that's that's something that I really like to see in like mac and cheese, and mm -hmm. it really like has that cheese profile. Mm -hmm. uh, you could taste some of the whey from the regular Cheetos. No way. <laughs> He's stupid. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yep. it's good. Solid eight. Let's see what we have next. Next up, we kind of have an El Paso favorite. Uh, I think a lot of people here in town kind of prefer the more spicier ones. Uh, I know they have the limon flavor that a little more. That the teenage girls used to, you know, eat before breakfast with their milk and <laughs> and uh, Rockstar, Rockstar energy, drinks. energy drink or Monster, whichever they got their hands on. <laughs> they would just pour it like a bowl of cereal and just... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, me personally, I'm not a big fan of, of the spiciness behind uh, the regular Cheeto, and you might call me a failure to El Paso. Uh, but, yeah, I I can't really eat too many of these without uh, hating myself. I think I, like most uh, El Paso teenage women or girls, prefer the, the spicy limon. Same. Uh, mostly because that limon gives it that extra, you know, kind of tangy flavor or whatever mm -hmm. the hell. And it, it just sits a lot better, but again, like like Joe said, after a while, you get really sick. So uh, I'm a little afraid of how this is going to go. I don't think it's going to come out that well, but uh, let's taste a regular Cheeto first. Let's see. Get that uh, old school familiar flavor. It's not as bad as I remember. It's been a hot minute, I'm just kidding, since I <laughs> have had a regular Flaming Hot Cheetos. It's not as bad as I remember. They're pretty good. Like I said, if I eat too many of these, you get really sick. It's not going to go well. Nope. So, keep now that, that we have that flavor profile, let's see how well they compare. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. This looks scary. Instant heat. Instant heat. It, this has a lot more heat than that. Right off the bat. Yeah. I'm definitely feeling it. Whoa. Now, no, I'm not, I could... Oh, go ahead. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm getting the hot Cheeto flavor or just heat itself. Like spice, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's just the way the powder is compared to, like, the chips, whereas compared to, like, the mac and cheese. But it doesn't really taste like... A uh, flaming hot Cheeto. It, it just tastes not. like hot pasta. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even taste like um, like mac and cheese with spice. It just tastes Ooh. like hot pasta. <laughs> oh, it is really hot. It's all right. It's not too bad. It's a little hot. <laughs> um, when I poured out the, uh, the powder, Jesus, when I poured out the powder, it smelled instantly like a hot Cheeto, but. It does not taste like a hot Cheeto. It's just really spicy noodle. Ooh, I just shoveled in a good amount and it's staying up. It? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of it is uh, the fact that it's kind of like if I were to get the powder from the Cheeto and I guess make it wet so ooh. it becomes like a paste. And it's almost like a paste in there. Or uh, just hot. Three. Mm. In terms of mac and cheese, yeah. In terms of uh, flavor, yeah, Comparing honestly, it, all, like, all around. Yeah, it, it doesn't taste like this. It's just spicy. I mean, if you're a spicy lover, maybe, maybe, maybe it's for you. I don't think you'd like it either. I think if you're a spicy lover, you might not like it either. Cause There's it, not much good flavor. I yeah, mean, it's, it's it's not because uh, usually spicy lovers they love like that flavor. They love that like kick or whatever. And this one has you know like a kick, but it's not like an enjoyable one. Yeah. No. And for our final flavor, uh, I think my least favorite of the, the three, um, jalapeno cheddar. I'm kind of looking forward to this one. I mean, I've, I've had uh, mac and cheese with jalapeno bits in it, and it's not too bad. Uh, I actually think this one might be either my second, or it might even take the cake. Who knows? First impression, you get a lot of jalapeno smell to it, huh? Yeah. yeah right when you uh, kind of dropped it on me, I was like, oh uh oops oh this is pretty good <laughs> <laughs> uh so i guess let's start off with our chip first and see how it compares now i've never had this flavor before uh i don't it's think i've good. ever had cheddar jalapeno it's definitely off because i don't think regular cheetos uses the cheddar so i think that's kind of what's giving it a different flavor profile now my mouth, my mouth could still be dying from that last bit of a uh, mac and cheese, but it's not bad. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> the way that that one tastes, I'm curious to see if this is gonna be pretty good. This one's pretty cheddar forward, so let's see if this one has more cheese up front uh, rather than the jalapeno. The flaming hot, huh? Oh, okay. No. Very subtle. I don't know. Uh -huh. Maybe I need a little more. Yeah. There's not a lot of flavor. It's there. I mean, like I said, it's it's very subtle. If you get like a healthy glob, you can kind of taste a lot more of it. But yeah, I see. That's a little better. Um, like I can make out the fact that there's jalapeno in there, but there's no spice, right? Right. It's like it's it's, it's just more cheese, flavor. Yeah. more cheese with like a a breath of jalapeno in it, a wisp, a little uh, a kiss of jalapeno. It's not jalapeno business. That's pretty good. I like this one. I like it because it does taste like a mac and cheese mm -hmm. with just you know like you said a breath of uh, jalapeno. jalapeno. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this might be a surprise win for win. you. Yeah, because I I like a little bit of spice, uh, but that first uh, flaming hot Cheeto just too much spice. And I think uh, what really helps is the fact that it's cheddar, and not whatever. Uh, 
I don't know what cheese. What abomination that was? <laughs> what? No, I'm talking about. I don't know what cheese that uh, Cheetos uses. Mm. That's probably just like a regular. I don't know. Um, I always thought it was cheddar. Isn't? I don't think so because cheddar it's a lot more sharp and like Cheetos usually has a different kind of taste to me in terms of like what cheddar is and this actually tastes like cheddar cheese. What do you give it? It's kind of hard. Uh, in terms of mac and cheese, I guess I would say like a an eight because it, it hits all the right spots. So you think it's not the best mac and cheese I've ever had in my life, but it's it's there. It's pretty good. Are you saying this one's better than the original Cheeto flavor? Well, that's what I was about to get into. Yeah, I think I like the flavor of this one a little better because of that jalapeno. Yeah, I think that's that little uh, accent or whatever that little. Uh, taste of jalapeno just is enough to just give it that extra point. Uh, I th- I like this one, but I think I think I might give the original flavor uh, just the slight lead, just because it's more mac and cheesy and it's it's got good flavor to it. I wouldn't say it's ex- spot on with a regular Cheeto. But it's just good enough. Uh, this one, it has that nice little jalapeno flavor in it, but I don't know. It just it's a little too subtle for me. I think uh, I'm gonna give this one. What did I give the original Cheetos? You seven? gave original an eight. I give it an eight. I'll give this one a seven. I don't. I don't want to go as low as a six. I'll give this one a seven. It's not too bad. I mean, honestly, it's like I'm uh, like I'm saying. It's very close. I did really enjoy that first one. Uh, I'm going to somewhat disagree with Joe and say that it did taste a lot more like Cheetos than this one does. I think this one may mostly just tastes like, uh, like mac and cheese with a, a kick or whatever. Uh, but that second one, the Flaming Hot, nah, that's, that's definitely a pass. These other two, I'd get it. So let's, uh... Let's bring our competitors back out and uh, kind of give our final thoughts. So I guess that'll do it for this episode. Uh, overall, I think none of them really came close to the Cheeto. I mean, maybe they came a little close to the Cheetos uh, flavor besides this. Yeah, this one, nah. It, it had no similarities. It was just kind of spicy to be spicy. Yeah. Uh, this one, you could kind of get a hint of Cheeto behind it. This one didn't taste like this at all, but no. it did have a good flavor. So yeah, I, I I completely agree. I would say uh, in terms of like to their bags, that one missed the mark completely. This one was maybe I don't know, maybe like a five in comparing to like hitting the mark with the the flavor of the chip. Mm-hmm. But that one is still like maybe a nine in terms of like wow, it tasted like uh like Cheetos. As close to I guess you can get to yeah. tasting like a Cheeto. And I really liked the fact that they used that, uh, I don't know what that pasta is called, I guess what, like rigatoni or whatever, the, the little spiral the little spiral one, uh, because uh, I think it really, I, I think they, they made that decision because they wanted it to be kind of sim- close to resemble the, the Cheeto the chip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like if you're eating a, a Cheeto chip. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, well, there you guys have it. Uh, they're available at Walmart for about 97 cents uh, each, so give it a shot. Uh, give it a shot. Give it give, a shot. El Paso. Uh, give it a shot and uh, let us know what you think. Maybe you guys have a different opinion than we do, but there you have it. Uh, total here was 16. This was 6. And that one was about... Uh, that was 15. Because you gave it a 7 and I give it an 8. Yeah. So. And yeah, uh, definitely. If you're going to pick them, uh, I would definitely go with the regular or the jalapeno and completely skip Flaming Hot. Yeah. So uh, thank you guys for supporting. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, as we mentioned, we have a podcast coming out every Tuesday on this channel. And uh, we'll see you guys for the next one.